All right, give me another quote from, say, Polycarp, and here's an, uh, a student of the Apostle John. Okay. okay. This is a student from the uh, Apostle John, and uh, this is, well, actually it's Irenaeus, who's a student of Polycarp is where this quote is from. It's against, it's written in Against Heresies 3.1.1, and, and this gives an outline of, of, the, uh, of the Gospels, of the tradition about where the Gospels come from. Matthew published his Gospel among the Hebrews, that is the Jews, in their own tongue when Peter and Paul were preaching the Gospel in Rome and founding the church there. After their departure, which is an allusion to their uh, death uh, during the Neronian persecution sometime in the 60s, Mark, okay, after their departure, that is their death, Mark, the disciple and interpreter of Peter, himself handed down to us in writing the substance of Peter's preaching. Luke, the follower of Paul, set down in a book the gospel preached by his teacher. Then John, the disciple of the Lord, who also leaned on his breast, himself produced his gospel while living at Ephesus in Asia. So there we have the four gospels. We've got two, uh, two apostolic evangelists, if you will, Matthew and John. We've got Mark, who's tied very closely to Peter, and we've got Luke, tied very closely to Paul. Of course, sometimes this is challenged. Some people will say, well, Luke isn't really written by Paul. They just picked someone and then associated him with Paul. But here's the problem with a suggestion like that. It is, think of all the companions that Paul had who could have been associate authors of a work like Luke Acts. Okay, you have Timothy, you have Titus, you have Barnabas, you have Silas. It's a long list of potential candidates. I want to pick, I want to pick a follower of Paul to write this book so we can have apostolic association with it. Lots of candidates. One small problem. In the tradition of the church, the tradition of the church is consistent that it's Luke. And what's interesting about Luke is, is that Luke actually is not among the more prominent of those associates of Paul. Okay, he's in a, he is a fringe Pauline figure in comparison to the people I just named. So if you were grabbing out of a hat, you get to make the rules, and pick mm -hmm. a name, you would not pick the name of Luke. So the problem is, how does Luke get so closely attached to Pauline tradition unless Luke belongs there? That's the point.